Imagine your mind as a beautiful, lush jungle. In this jungle, there are all kinds of amazing creatures. Colorful birds of happiness, playful monkeys of curiosity, and gentle elephants of wisdom. But sometimes, sneaking through the underbrush, there are tigers. These tigers are your negative thoughts, and they can be pretty scary. Now you might be wondering, how do I deal with these thought tigers? Well, that's exactly what we're going to explore today. We're going to learn some super cool tricks to tame those tigers and make our mind jungle a happier place to be. First things first, it's important to know that everyone has these thought tigers. Even grown-ups, even your teachers, even the most confident person you know. Having negative thoughts doesn't make you weird or bad, it just makes you human. The key is learning how to handle them. Name your negative thoughts. Let's start with a simple but powerful trick. Naming your tigers. When you have a negative thought, try to give it a silly name. For example, if you're worried about a test, you might call that thought Worried Wanda or Test Stress Ted. This might sound funny, but it actually helps. When you name your thoughts, it reminds you that they're just thoughts, not facts. You can even say, oh, there goes Worried Wanda again. It's like turning a scary tiger into a cartoon character, much less frightening. Another great way to handle negative thoughts is to be a detective. Detectives look for evidence, right? Well, when you have a negative thought, put on your detective hat and look for evidence. Let's say you think, I'm no good at math. A thought detective would ask, is that really true? What's the evidence? Maybe you'll remember that time you got a good grade on a math test, or when you helped your friend understand a tricky problem. Suddenly, that negative thought doesn't seem so true anymore. Practice mindfulness. Sometimes our thought tigers get really loud and it feels like they're roaring all the time. When this happens, it can help to practice something called mindfulness. Mindfulness is like being a quiet observer in your own mind. Here's a cool trick to try. Imagine you're sitting by a river and your thoughts are leaves floating by on the water. You don't need to grab the leaves or push them away, just watch them float past. This helps you remember that thoughts come and go and you don't have to believe every thought that pops into your head. Be kind to yourself. Now let's talk about a super important tool in taming your thought tigers, self-kindness. Imagine if your best friend was feeling sad or scared. Would you be mean to them? Of course not. You'd probably give them a hug and say something nice. Well, it's important to treat yourself the same way. When you have a negative thought, try to be your own best friend. You could say something like, Hey, it's okay to feel this way. You're doing your best, and that's awesome. Practice gratitude. Sometimes, negative thoughts can make us forget about all the good things in our lives. That's why it's super helpful to practice gratitude. Gratitude is just a fancy word for remembering what you're thankful for. Every day, try to think of three things you're grateful for. They can be big things, like your family, or small things, like your favorite snack. When you focus on the good stuff, it's like turning on a light in a dark room. Those thought tigers have fewer shadows to hide in. Change the channel in your mind. Another cool trick is called changing the channel. Imagine your mind is like a TV and negative thoughts are a show you don't like. Well, you have the remote control. When a negative thought comes on, you can change the channel. You could think about your favorite memory, imagine your dream vacation, or plan something fun to do later. It's your TV, so you get to choose what to watch. Do things you enjoy. Sometimes, negative thoughts can make us want to hide away and not do things we enjoy. But here's a secret. Doing fun stuff is like tiger repellent. When you're having a good time, there's less room for negative thoughts. So even if you don't feel like it at first, try to do things you enjoy. Play your favorite game, draw a picture, or dance to a silly song. You might be surprised how much better you feel. Ask for help when you need it. Now here's a really important thing to remember. It's okay to ask for help. Taming thought tigers can be tricky, and sometimes we need a little extra support. Talking to a parent, a teacher, or a counselor can be super helpful. They might have some great ideas you haven't thought of, or they might just listen and remind you that you're not alone. Remember, asking for help isn't a sign of weakness. It's a sign of strength and wisdom. Try power poses. Let's talk about another cool trick, the power pose. Did you know that how you stand or sit can actually change how you feel? It's true, when you're feeling down, 
Try standing like a superhero for a couple of minutes. Put your hands on your hips, stand up straight, and lift your chin. It might feel silly at first, but it can actually help you feel more confident and positive. It's like showing those thought tigers who's boss. Write down your thoughts. Sometimes negative thoughts can feel like they're stuck on repeat, playing over and over in our heads. When this happens, it can help to write them down. Get a piece of paper and write out what you're thinking. Then take a good look at what you've written. Often, seeing our thoughts on paper can help us realize they're not as scary or true as they seemed in our heads. You can even rip up the paper afterwards if you want. It can feel pretty good. Remember, overcoming negative thoughts is a skill, just like learning to ride a bike or play an instrument. It takes practice, and that's okay. Some days will be easier than others, and that's normal too. The important thing is to keep trying and to be patient with yourself. As we come to the end of our journey through the mind jungle, let's recap our tiger taming tricks. Number one, name your negative thoughts. Number two, be a thought detective and look for evidence. Number three, practice mindfulness. Number four, be kind to yourself. Number five, practice gratitude. Number six, change the channel in your mind. Number seven, do things you enjoy. Number eight, ask for help when you need it. Number nine, try power poses. Number 10, write down your thoughts. Remember, you are the explorer of your own mind jungle. You have the power to tame those thought tigers and create a peaceful, happy place in your mind. It might take time, and there might be some challenges along the way, but with practice and patience, you can do it. So the next time you hear a thought tiger roaring, take a deep breath and remember these tricks. You've got this. Your mind jungle can be a wonderful place full of positivity, creativity, and joy. And remember, even on tough days, you are brave, you are strong, and you are capable of amazing things. Hey, Tiger Tamers, did this video help you learn some new tricks for battling negative thoughts? If so, roar into action. Hit that like button to show your support. Share this video with friends who might need help taming their own thought tigers. We'd love to hear about your experiences too, so leave a comment below with your favorite tip or a strategy that works for you. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more Mind Jungle adventures. Together, we can create a positive community where everyone's thoughts can bloom and grow. Let's turn those tiger roars into purrs of contentment.